Hello, 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 friends! Will be Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to everybody. How are we all doing? Aloha, writer. And B? Boba, hello, Boba. Oh no, Boba, you're sick. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks for all those rainbows and hearts as well. Aloha. You edited your mini game a bit, Aloha. Okay, I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> I was trying to brainstorm what else what we could do with that mini game. I didn't have any good ideas. My brainstorm was not productive. <laughs> But maybe if we brainstorm together, the power of our minds combined can come up with something, a solution, hopefully something fun and awesome. In better news, well, but your new movable, movable stand arrived. Movable stand for what? Your switch? <laughs> a music stand? Checking on the puppies here. Everybody has a Kenza Splatter Shot, right? Oh, I have no idea. You gotta... That's the tough thing about mini games, especially here on the channel, is we want to include everybody, and we got people from folks who are, like, brand, brand new to the game. All the way to folks who are, you know, 180 prestige. <laughs> or 80 prestige. I haven't gotten through the news yet. As you can tell, yeah, let me turn off my other background music so we don't have double. And then spam A. For all that I'm worth. Don't get cooked. Stay off the hook. But tell me what your idea was. Maybe we can use whatever idea you had. The little the little seedling, the little inkling of an idea that you had. And we can maybe work with it. <laughs> tell me all the things. Tell me all the ideas. Okay. You probably saw it if you checked out the thumbnail. If you're here waiting for the stream to start. But we'll show it anyways. If you're not already. For the first time in prepare, preparation for... Splatoon 3, Nintendo, has made a dedicated Splatoon North America account. We've only ever had Splatoon Japan. And then you gotta wait for people who know Japanese to translate it or hope that the auto-translate is good enough that it makes sense. It's usually not. <laughs> so, we got, we got this today. They've been trickling out little pieces of information about Splatoon 3. So Squid Research Lab here bristling with excitement to reveal new hairstyles. These new looks for Inklings and Octolings are a follicular phenomena that, pardon me, an intern sprinted in here weaving some papers. Oh, it seems the hair is tentacle-based. New tentacles dropped. They've been doing these kind of lookbook reveals of clothes some of the clothes we've seen before like this 90s sweater on the right we've seen before we have some more of the new pants there chill chill bear i don't think we've seen this hair on the right though here the green one or i haven't anyways some of these we've seen before but this is close-up views that we haven't seen before. And of course, when you put it all together, right here, it's a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, bear, what's up with you? What's up? Oh, Georgie has a treat and you don't have a treat. I may need to fix that. <laughs> yeah, the new Splatoon 3 here is pretty great, pretty great. Hey, hold on, hold on. I gotta give me one moment. I gotta mute myself. I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna get Bear a treat too, so we don't have any 
wrestling. Any arguments between the pug brothers here? <laughs> Over treats. So I will BRB. Or do we do a dance party while we maybe we do a Splatoon dance party while I be right back? It was a short-ish <laughs> BRB. <laughs> I'm back, though. Hopefully, they both got treats now. Hopefully, that calms them down. Uh, let me change my outfit here. Let me open a lobby. I will have to catch up on all of writers' messages there, too. Let's hope that they make this process a little bit easier. We gotta go in so many different menus here just to change. Oh, it didn't even work there. Or I clicked the wrong thing. This is what actually happened. Will you reach X rank? Let's go! Okay, writers other mini game idea. Beacon Breach, one person on both teams. Uses a brush with a beacon. And then they have one minute to place beacons. Everyone else can only move from the beacons, but the people that place the beacons. But but the people that place the brushes. Oh, I'm getting confused here. <laughs> Everyone else can only move from the beacons, but the people that place the beacons. Okay. Brushes cannot attack. Everyone else but the brushes can use a weapon of their choice. Most turf wins. Except for torpedoes. It's a little complicated. So like you can only move with beacons then? Is that the idea? You can only push forward with beacons? Unless you're the person with the beacon? Cup in down here. Okay. Got it written down. It'll make sense. It'll make sense when we play it. <laughs> Ideally, yes. <laughs> Have you seen someone play it before or you came up with this? This is an original idea. Have you played it before? <laughs> I love the enthusiasm and the creativity. Your name is X rank now, NB. <laughs> I thought your name was like C minus. And then eventually C plus B minus something <laughs> player. I gotta plug in my phone here. It's gonna die during the stream.
Oh, let's go. I didn't even make a, uh, a pin message with the like goal and everything, but we already hit what was going to be my first like goal. So thank you all for that. But let me actually go ahead and make that. Imagine someone's actual improvement. <laughs> we could try, maybe. I'll do what I always do, Aloha, which is I will put it to a vote later in the stream. I gotta, I gotta wrap my head around it a little more. I feel like I gotta read it one more time. <laughs> what are the other people that aren't the beacon person using for weapons? Anything they want? Oh yeah, it does say that everyone else but the brushes can use a weapon on their choice, okay. Everyone is kind of going to be very grouped up there, right? They're going to be very grouped up on the brushes, on the beacons. It does sound like it would really probably prevent a lot of spawn and base camping. <laughs> Which is something I'm always trying to do in my mini game ideas. So is the person with the beacon, can we give them a name? Kind of like Bestie. Can they be the beacon? <laughs> or is that too confusing? Can they continue also placing beacons throughout the match? If so, I think one minute for them to place beacons is too long. Everybody else is getting not have enough time to play. I only have two minutes then. Maybe 30 seconds. Everyone else could move. This line I'm confused about. Everyone else can only move from the beacons, but the people that place the beacons cannot attack. That part's a little confusing. Confusion. Booyah Rumble, 1119 plus. Everyone uses a weapon that has a Booyah Bomb. Build up their special gauge. Is this your, your, um, minigame idea, boy, Boba? You gotta go eat, NB. Aw. Boba, are you gonna join us in game? You got it from a video. You thought it sounded cool. Okay. <laughs> Do you know whose video, by chance? I think we're going to start off with, well, it depends. I, I'm surprised there's so few people in here, number one. If you want to join us, uh, folks, if you're already friends with me, lobby code is our usual, super top secret, 5678. If you are not already friends with me, send me a friend request. Let's be besties. Exclamation point FC in chat. I'll stick that in there in our happy little robot will hopefully here beep boop beep boop beep boop spit out my 
There it is. Spin out my friend code in chat as well. You are Boba Help. Okay. <laughs> it is indeed a super secret code. Can we 1v1 at the end of the stream? People, why do people want to 1v1 me? Do you know how bad I am at playing Splatoon? Do you watch me when I actually play the game? I'm horrible. <laughs> you might as well, like, go try to 1v1 like your, your like, baby cousin or something. I don't know. <laughs> if I was better at the game, I'd be playing, like, competitive ranked matches on stream. Not doing mini games <laughs> where I'm mostly spectating. <laughs> no, I usually say no to the, uh... I usually say no to the 1v1 requests. You know what I was curious about? I was curious curious if Fall Guys ever reopened the private lobbies yesterday. Y'all are waiting. Maybe more people will join us. It doesn't look like they said they did. You're going to talk only in emojis. Cry like pink flowers, cherry blossom. <laughs> okay, should we do some hide and seek, I guess, since we, there's just a few of us. Any volunteers out of the folks in the lobby to seek? Let me select our ink color. And block off the maps. Oops, I like that one. <laughs> okay, if any of you want to be the seeker, let me know. I don't know how Aloha is going to let us know in ch with emojis only that they want to be the seeker or a hider. Maybe kitty in a box um, emote. <laughs> Boba, you will hide. Okay. I got too much stuff going on in my um my OBS layout here now. <laughs> I can't keep track of everything. Oh, Aloha, you broke. Whatever you sent is, does not show up. <laughs> we got Aloha saying, I will hide. Okay. <laughs> Your emojis didn't work. They didn't work. Okay, hide and seek down there in the corner. Not that far down in the corner, though. And ooh, my camera's in a weird spot. I uh, adjusted it for Fall Guys yesterday and lost 
does it, does it always cover this? Maybe it does, and I just never noticed. <laughs> I guess we'll stick it there. Okay, we got... Oh, you gotta you gotta go shower. Aloha. Okay. I shall spectate you then. And we had Bobo wanting to hide, and we had NB did an NB. Wait, NB, are you still eating? Are you? Did you leave me too? Did everybody leave? Do we gotta go to like... <laughs> I guess I'll see, just in case NB did have to go. We'll do this. We'll, we'll make you all hiders and I'll seek for this first round. Hopefully at least one of you is actually gonna hide. <laughs> Oh, the Maze Dasher for Hide and Seek? That's a bad choice. I should have picked something. Bear was all angry about Georgie having to treat him not, and then Bear didn't even eat it. And fell asleep. <laughs> Can you use a Booyah Bomb? Um, here's... Booyah Bombs are allowed in... Hide and Seek. Here's the rules, in case you don't know. Or you forgot. There's only restrictions, actually, on the... Seekers for specials and subs. So just for me. Oh, I think NB did, did leave us, but didn't leave the lobby. This overlay thing seems a little too bright. A little too... A little too sunny. Let me turn it down a little bit. Oh, that's too not bright enough. I need to redo all this, all these motion graphics now that I can actually run them all, all the time. Um... Okay, so one minute for the hiders to find a spot. Somewhere accessible by foot or tentacle by the other team. Reminder to our hiders as well there's no rehiding running away or fighting back i found just let me take you out or the seeker for the future rounds and uh then please stay in your base on respawn so we can keep track of everybody more seconds to find a hiding spot. I feel like my camera keeps getting in weird spots. <laughs> I move my monitors around and ever since then I feel like they're... Okay, hiders get in your ink. I'm on the hunt. that we've ever done hide and seek on this map. I like this map though. I think the jump pads are super fun. I hope they incorporate more fun stuff like that into the Oh I think I found Boba. I think Boba's the only one actually hiding. 
<laughs> this is a hide and seek 1v1. And be your back. Oh, did you hide? Or are you sitting on spawn? We can just squid party. GG's though. GG's. I almost missed it. Boba, I was like, that was a good, good strategy there. It's like I inked and then I like look back and I was like, hmm, there's that one spot right there. I wonder, I wonder. Remember that our squid parties are non-violent. Oh no, booyah bomb to my face. To the dome. Boba. <laughs> <laughs> Non-violent squid parties. Oh, going for a swim. Just a quick one. Anybody else want to seek? Oh, but you don't have to leave. <laughs> it's fine. Just letting you know. Let's try to keep the squid parties non-violent because it's part of the rules. I'd rather have you stay and play though, Boba. Should we do a salmon run open? <laughs> Should we do salmon run? Let me look, let me look. Hector, hello Hector. Welcome. Come join us in the lobby, Hector. Slow, a little bit of a slow start to the stream here. But we'll, we're doing some hide and seek. Looks like Salmon Run is open. If we don't get a lot of people, we could also do <clears throat> just pub turf wars, maybe? Level level me up a little bit. <laughs> I've been stuck at level 38 because I mainly just play this game on stream. And only PBs. I go through like phases where I try to grind ranked and then as is often the case with everybody in ranked, it sometimes gets frustrating. And I give up. Jam, hello, Jam. Welcome. Jam, are you going to join us in game as well? We're doing some hide and seek. Let me pull up the rules here while we're hanging out. Got this fancy chat thing now too that I try to remember to use. You gotta keep setting it up and it's a little bit, I'm still figuring it out. It's a little buggy. It like cuts off part. You're in a game right now. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, Hector or NB. Do either you wanna seek?
yeah, probably, we're going to be streaming for a while here. <laughs> Depending how many people we get, we, who knows, we may go over to Salmon Run or something else a little bit later. Usually people do trickle in. Off stream, I've been having so much fun playing Minecraft. Might do a bonus Minecraft stream someday this week after the main stream. We'll have to see. Usually, got to take a little bit of a break to like take care of the dogs and stuff, but. Unless David is around to help. But a lot of times he's at work. <laughs> you will see Kector. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm just looking for a stage here. Let's do Shellendorf. Although that's kind of big for just three people. I'll do Piranha Pit. You need to, to use the bathroom? Okay. <laughs> we, can, we can hang out for a minute while you take care of some business. <laughs> if you're going to be more than a minute, though, let me know. <laughs> I gotta figure out what the deal is with the... Uh... Oh, Zara joined us as well, okay. Maybe then we'll just, we'll just go and we'll spectate H Hector this time? Zara, do you want to seek? So a reminder of our rules here for hide and seek, hiders are going to have one minute to ink up the map and find a hiding spot outside of their base somewhere accessible by foot or tentacle by the other team. And then, hiders please do not run away, rehide or fight back if found, just let the seeker take you out and then please please stay in your base on respawn so we can keep track of everybody. Seeker, you can pick any weapon, but no torpedoes, ink mines, auto bombs, point sensors, toxic mist, tenna missiles, stingray, anything like that that finds or reveals or shows you where people are in the ink. And also no stream sniping or looking at the map to find those hiders. You gotta find them yourself. <laughs> okay, Hector, you're back. Good, good. Sorry, I'll have you be the seeker next time. I'll we'll just do one one v twos. Maybe, maybe, yeah, let's do that. This needs to be up a little bit more here. I'm picky about <laughs> how things are arranged. It's the designer in me. But honestly, my brain will want to change it every time the text on the left moves around, so. <laughs> K 
Okay, Piranha Pit, hide and seek, let's go. Hector is our hider. Hector, you're going to stay on point until we hit that two minute mark. But until then, for that first minute, Zari and NB can ink up the map as much as they possibly can and find a hiding spot, again, somewhere accessible by the other team. Got some advanced inking strategies going on here. <laughs> Hello, Serratic. How's it going? Hello, Megazro. I'm just gonna call you Mega. Welcome, welcome, friends. We're playing some hide and seek. If you want to join us, if you're already friends with me, the lobby code is 5678. If you're new here, welcome. Mega, I don't know that I've seen you, or if I have, it's been a while. Okay, Seeker. Seek and destroy your back rider. Welcome back, welcome back. If you're not already friends with me, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Exclamation point FC. Or check out the pin message in chat for my friend code. Let me know your switch username, I'll accept. And then you can join us in the lobby. You're new, Mega. Well, welcome to our happy little community. We play Splatoon, uh, it depends on the week, but two or three times a week. And then we also do a Minecraft, we do some Animal Crossing, we do some other variety streams, Nintendo Switch, and um, cross-platform free-to-play games, all kinds of fun stuff. Then we have a second channel where we play Fortnite together. We're going to start playing some of the new Overwatch 2 beta together over there as well when that comes out next week. Very excited for that. Welcome to the most awesome, awesome Splatoon channel. <laughs> The happiest and possibly one of the littlest Splatoon channels. But we're growing. We're growing. We're almost at 500 subscribers. Username is ZRO. Okay. Did our seekers or did our headers all get found? I think maybe they did, but everybody's running around, so it's hard to tell. And I was talking, so I got distracted. <laughs> Small community, big idea, huge ideas, big brains, <laughs> big hearts. Okay, let me go accept that friend request. We had these, these people from last time. I'm going to reject those. If you sent me a friend request last time and didn't accept... I only accept if you give me a shout out in chat with your username, because we've got some folks who are great and Smurf alt accounts and disrupting the stream, causing trouble. So, but here's our new friend, Mega ZRO. Looks like you play some Animal Crossing too. Some Mario Kart. We play Mario Kart on our. I like to look at what people play. I forgot to do it there. Oh my gosh, so much Splatoon though. 1,840 hours or more. Smash Brothers, lots of Fortnite too. Like I said, we play that on the second channel. Happy Little Gamer Plus. Lots of Minecraft as well. Let's go, let's go. Let's see. It looks like every... Oh, should we be doing a Fall Guys stream? Look how many of my friends here are playing Fall Guys. Almost like like half my 
not half my friend list, but half my friends that are online, maybe. <laughs> bananas, bananas. Maybe we do another Fall Guys stream tomorrow. Who's the other? Wait, 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 wait. We got another friend request? No, 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 no. Nintendo, you're confused. <laughs> Why is your alt better at getting chunks than your main? Uh, maybe because it's a lower level account? Zara, you weren't found. Okay, so Seeker did win, or Hiders did win that round. We'll do one more round of hide and seek, and we got enough now for a 3v3. So after that, um, we shall take a vote, do some other mini games, some other modes, do Fall Guy Fridays. Maybe, maybe. We've been doing, we usually do Minecraft on Fridays. I'm not married to that idea. I'm okay with switching up the schedule too. I'm getting, uh, I'm trying out getting rid of Happy Splatter Day this week. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I do Fall Guys on Saturday. Okay. Uh, rules, rules. So, Radic, you're going to join us in a bit. Sounds good. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. Minecraft Mondays. We do. We've been doing Splatoon on Mondays. Mondays and Wednesdays, I think, are going to be our Splatoon days. For right now. We were also doing. We've been doing Splatoon on Saturdays as well, but. I keep saying friend request, and then when I go, there's no. There's no request. Oh, there is one this time. Jaden. Jaden, can you give me a shout out? We have an old friend named Jaden, but I'm not sure if that's the same person. The side chat, the side chat, I know the production value here. The hearts, the rainbows, the sparkles. <laughs> Any volunteers to be seeker? I think we need, I think we're going to do two seekers and four hiders here. Just trying to figure out where we should go. Should we go to... Let's go here if we're going to have two Seekers. It's a Hotel hotel Hide and Seek. So for those of you who haven't played Hide and Seek with us before, I'll go over the rules again real quick. Our Hiders are going to have one minute to ink up the map, find a hiding spot somewhere outside their base, accessible by foot or tentacle. Do not rehide, run away, or fight back if found. Just let the seeker take you out, and then please, please just stay in your base on point once you respawn so we can keep track of everybody. Seekers, you can pick any weapon you'd like, except there is absolutely no torpedoes, ink mines, auto bombs, point sensors, toxic mist, tana missiles, stingray, anything like that, anything like that, that um, seeks out and finds, reveals, or shows you where people are in the ink. And also, no stream sniping, no peeking at the stream or at that mapping game to try to get a clue for where people are. You gotta find them yourself. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm also serious. You're starting to main the GooTuber. Aloha, you're starting to main Inkbrush. Just plain Inkbrush? Where were... I really like the Inkbrush Nouveau. usually what I go for. But depends on the mode and whatnot too. Okay, we've got Mega ZRO wanting to be a hider. I think we had NB asking to seek here. And Zari. Oh Zari was gonna seek too as well. Okay. We've we've got our we've got our we've got our roles figured out then. Okay, so the Alpha team are the Seekers, Bravo team are the Hiders. Let me pick a different weapon here. 
I'll just go with my trusty old Kansas Black Dooleys. Which is what I mean when I first <laughs> unlocked them and couldn't hadn't unlocked ranked in the game yet. <laughs> And through most of C rank for most of my modes, also was maining them. But once you got out of C, they weren't really super useful. Depends, though. Depends. I still bust them out every once in a while. I guess I got a ready up too. <laughs> We're twins. We're triplets. ZRO is also using the Kansas Blood Dooleys. Ryder here. Maybe doesn't have them unlocked. This is an alt for them. Ryder, are you here? <laughs> Ready up, Ryder. Oh, we gotta take down these rules. Oof. Did it just in time. No, Dooleys. Okay, hiders, one minute to ink up the map, and then at that two minute mark, the Seekers are on the hunt, but not quite yet. Malay, hello! How are you doing, friend? Midnight as well. Hiders, get in your ink. Seeker, seek and destroy. Oh no. I did not last long. You just got back? Well, welcome back. Got found too. It's my twin. You can play with me, sure. Um, lobby code is five six seven eight. I think we're gonna swap and do something else after this because we got enough people, especially if uh, a few more people join us to do something else. So we'll do a poll. Take, take it to a vote. If anybody has any mini game or custom or just modes, if you anybody wants to do like turf war or split zones or anything as well, that you want to me to include in the vote, give me a shout out about it in chat. Oh, looks like all of the hiders are found. The seekers get the dub this time, but G G's G G's. We can just squid party for the rest of the time. And remember too, as always, folks, our squid parties are non-violent. As I run for my life. MLH gets to play today, so you don't have to. You get to join another day. Okay. 
I like that. I like that you two take turns, though. You can always just watch and hang out and chat too. We're just one away from our like goal, so if, if you haven't already, could you do me a huge favor? Just takes a sec, hit that thumbs up button, the like button on the stream. It really, really helps spread our rainbow and sunshine vibes to more people. Helps grow and support the channel, and I really appreciate it. Oh, actually, I just checked on a different... For some reason on my stream page, it's always a little bit behind on the likes. It always shows it takes a while. But we just hit that like goal, so thank you everybody for that. Again, really, really appreciate the support. Lamar, welcome! Oh my gosh, Lamar, I don't have the Discord up yet. I'm so sorry. I mean, it's up. <laughs> Maybe I should just have you all help me test it, rather than me trying to uh, test it myself. If you haven't already, though, and you want to be one of the first people to join our Discord, um, I'll stick my Discord username in chat. You can send me a message. And I'll give you an invite as soon as I'm ready to. Lamar, you just liked. You're the one that hit the goal. Well, thank you for that. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. How you doing, Lamar? Yeah, for anybody else that's trying to join us, lobby code is 5678. And, like I said, if anybody has or suggestions for stuff we should include in the mini game vote, let me know. Or do, okay, I'll, I told Aloha writer that I would include this, so we'll include it. There's a new game, mini game idea that Aloha Rider came up with. It's called Beacon Breach. One person on each team is the beacon. Okay, and those people use a brush with a beacon as the sub. They have 30 seconds to run around the map, place some beacons around. Everybody else can only jump to the beacons. I'm, is how I understand it. <laughs> um, the person with, that places the beacons cannot attack, but they can still run around and place more beacons. Um, everybody else can use whatever weapon they want. And then it's 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 most turf wins instead of most splats. So if that sounds fun, I'll include that one in the vote. Beacon Breach. Is the name of that one. Okay, and then I'll include some other other stuff here. I look at my list of mini games here. Oh, and B had a. We need a different name than cops and robbers. And B. I did write down your rules for that as well. It's a, it is a little, I'm reading through your Cops and Robber rules again, NB. It's a little different than Cops and Robbers um, that I've played in other games. Since they're just trying to get over there to the other base.
laser tag mega we, we do play laser tag a lot here we're taking a little bit of a break from it <laughs> beacon beach it could be that too <laughs> runners versus ninjas goodies versus that is Heroes versus villains. <laughs> yeah, we just had... An, when we played Laser Tag, we've had a lot of people not listening to the rule about spawn and base camping. And so, particularly in that mode. So we're just taking a little bit of a break from it. Chargers versus ninjas. Or it could be like just something like Siege. Or... <laughs> what if it was called... Um, spawn... Spawn Siege? I don't know. <laughs> Base attack. These are all possible names. Spawn Rush? Ooh, that one's fun. Spawn Surge, that one's fun too. And Surge is kind of like ocean related, so more Splatoon y. Okay. I like Spawn Surge. We'll go with that. So, Spawn Surge, I'll include in the vote too. So, um, the Surgers? We'll call it Surgers and Protectors, maybe. Surgers are use. Snipers. I know protectors use snipers. Surgers use brushes. The surgers are trying to get to the protector's base before they get splatted. If they get splatted, they stay in their base, so no respawn. Anyone who gets to the base, though, of the other team survives and wins. If the protectors splat all the surgers, then they win. Okay, let's let's do a vote. Let's do a vote. So everybody vote in that poll. I'm gonna have to <laughs> like find and replace. <laughs> So vote, everybody vote in that poll. Oh yeah, spawn search is new. Sorry, I forgot to write that. You weren't allowed to play on Monday. You had to go to your grandma's house. Did you have fun? I always love going to my grandma's house. Lots of good food. Playing with interesting old things.
both my grandmas always like playing cards. I'd always play cards with them. Okay, we got Beacon Breach with, uh, y'all are want to try something new here, huh? Beacon Breach with 50% of the vote, Spawn Surge close behind with 33% Splattle Royale Arena. With 33% of the vote. I gotta finish rewriting these rolls here if y'all are gonna make it this close. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess question for you on Spawn Surge NB. Do can people use subs and specials, or is it just me? I think this sounds fun, actually. I'm just writing down the rolls. Today was your last day of school, Michael. Let's go. Beacon Breach in the lead. It's pretty close. Vote if you haven't voted. We got more people in here than we have votes. Aloha, you're done with school as well. ML H2. Beacon people don't use specials, only beacons. Beacon is nearby, they could walk to it. But cannot ink. Wait, so the beacon for the beacon placer um can't ink at all? I didn't realize that. <laughs> Okay, we got one more minute here to vote. So vote if you haven't. I'm preparing the rules for Beacon Breach though. So it's it, or for oh, Beacon Breach is ahead now. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have those rules ready. I was working on the other one. <laughs> Oh, it's now tied. Tied between Beacon Breach and Spawn Surge. You have a tie-breaking vote from anybody? Please no all voting either.
Though it's maybe we flip a coin. Kitty in a box. I love kitties in boxes, out of boxes. On top of boxes. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, since we got a tie, we're gonna do, uh, spawn surge first, since I have the rules already for that. And then, after that, I guess, we, we, we shall try out some beacon. You have a cat that is 14 or 16 years old. That's very old for a kitty. You're drinking sparkling water, Hector. Twinsies, me too. Mine is mango flavored. Okay, let me make a roll sheet here, copy and paste everything. It's taking a while. Something else won. Oh, I forgot to close the vote. Okay, well, we're still doing sponsors first because I have those rules ready. We'll do them both, though. That's erratic in the lobby. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, these are formatted really weird, but we'll just go with it so we can move on.
So as always, when we're trying out new modes, they might not, there might be some things that don't work. So if you have suggestions, if you have feedback about the mini game, let us know after the first round and we'll make some adjustments. So here's the rules for spawn surge. So Bravo team are going to be the surgers. They're going to use brushes only. The searchers are trying to get across the map to the protector's base before the protectors can splat them. If they are splatted, even just once, they have to stay in their base for the rest of the match. No respawn for the surgers, for the Bravo team. If, though, even one of the server surgers survives and gets to the protector's base, then the surger team wins. The protector team is going to be the alpha team. They are going to use chargers only. They do have respawn. They... If the protectors splat all the surgers before they get to their base or time runs out, then they win. And as always, no stream snapping, no squid bagging, no spawn camping. Let me end this poll. Like I said, we will do both during the stream but since i had the rules already ready for this we're going with this let's try to edit has to be a map you can hit spawn like r1 and all yeah that was my next question is what is a good map for this if anybody else has suggestions for maps that would work port macro i don't think you can get to spawn there Mori Towers would be evil. <laughs> Specials and subs are allowed. Okay. Manta Maria. I don't think you can get all the way to the other team's spawn on Manta Maria. Can you? You can get close, but I don't think you can go all the way there. We'll stick to our own them all. Okay, I will take a request for one side or the other for this first one, but if the teams are unbalanced and we gotta rebalance things, I can't guarantee that after this first round we'll continue doing that. We might have to have to sacrifice your ability to choose sides so that we have fair teams. But since we're just testing out this first one. So we got Aloha. A Bravo. Gem. Serger. Bravo. 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 You changed your mind, you want alpha. And V protector. ML H protector. Okay. I gotta have Hector and Ceratic on Bravo as well. Is that right? I think it is. I think it is. Wait, Aloha, you said actually let you on Alpha. Why are you saying Bravo, Bravo, Bravo? You keep changing your mind. Okay, I'll put Zeratic on a, an alpha then. Wait. Okay, there. I 
Okay, I got you, Emily. Do you want to? You said alpha. Okay. We got questions. We understand the game. I guess other people play this as cops and robbers. <laughs> but we like to do things here a little differently. Thanks for everybody for your patience, too. I'll figuring all that out. It's part of the reason we don't always do new mini games. Because. <laughs> takes a while to like go through the rules even if you try to type them all out to get them like so that everybody's on the same page and understands takes a bit but it's fun to try new things so let's do it so again the alpha team here is picking chargers only so x rank fun girl serratic chargers only Bravo team picking brushes only. So that's Hector, Zari, Crack. Brushes only. Everybody can use subs and specials. I should add that to the rules. Oh no. Molly, you don't have a charger? You asked, yeah, you asked to be on that team, so I assume that you did. Okay, a little bit confusing because it got one person on the protector team with a brush as well, but we'll just go with it. <laughs> So remember for the for the surgers here for the blue team you don't have a respawn so once you're out you're out for the round hector here getting very close almost got there almost got there is that everybody let's see if we had a disconnect so i think that is actually everybody we can go again though if if uh, the oh Jim you disconnected I'm so that's a bummer. Yellow team, if you want to go back to base and if one of you can sit sit out, we can do another round. Pinky Cookie, hello. That was very close, Hector, though. And B. Go back to base and we'll do another round of your game. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not doing a second round. <laughs> Emily, sir, you don't have a charger? Yeah. Do you have a brush, though? So, like, you do have a brush. Okay. So, we'll just stick you on the surge team for the next round. Okay. 
So similar to when we play like Spinal Royale Arena or for the bestie and view my bestie, the even though you are trying to surge and push because you don't have respawn on the Bravo team, you do have to be careful here. You gotta play a little bit more cautiously, a little more carefully. You gotta kind of maybe do a sneaky surge. Because also you don't have the range that the other team does. I wonder if this would work as well, like if we just got rid of weapon restrictions. Because it's kind of just... We have so many games, game modes where it's like rushes and chargers. Okay, we got Zari back in here. Hopefully Zari's uh, internet holds out a little bit better. <laughs> Game audio is delayed. Really? It shouldn't be. Other than like the stream is a little bit delayed. Ray! Hello, Ray! Popping in just to say hi, still on holiday. Ooh. Hope you're having a really fun time. You're back next Tuesday. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello, Ray. Have an incredible rest of your time on your trip. And we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Oh, let's go to, we just hit our next like goal. So thank you all for that. But you know what it means. You know what it means. You know what I'm going to say probably before I even say it, if you've been around here for a while. When you reach a goal, when you hit the top of a ladder, when your dreams come true, you gotta reach a little higher, you gotta dream a little bigger, reach for those stars. So we shall make our goal a little bit a little bit bigger. Will the round end if just one person on the alpha team gets to the base, or does the whole team have to be there? It would be the the you mean the Bravo team, the Surgers. Only one of them has to make it to win. Thank you so much, Ray. Bye. <laughs> oh. Trying to do the rules for um, the other one that you all voted for here while we're between. But we should just go. We should just go. <laughs> Let me pull up those other rules again one more time. Any other questions that anybody has? Gets respawn chunks ready. <laughs> you don't have enough money for a charger? Okay, we'll just make you a, a, a surger, an attacker. We're going to stay in our own mall. While well, we're just testing this one out, since we know that it, it works for sure on this one. 
I'll do maybe a couple more rounds of this and then I'll try out the other one. So again, I'll go over the rules. If anybody has requests for sides, let me know. You want to be on... Uh, okay. So our Surger team, our Bravo team, the attackers are going to use brushes only. They are trying to get to that protector's base before the protectors splat them. If they are splatted, even just once they have to stay in their base for the rest of the match, they do not have respawn on the Bravo team. If even just one Surger survives, though, and gets to the protector's base, they win. The Alpha team are the protectors. Their base has lots of valuable loot in it. They are using chargers only to protect that loot. They do have respawn. Uh, if, if the protectors splat all the surgers before they get to their base or time runs out in the match, the protector team wins. Subs and specials are allowed for everybody. And as always in all our mini games, no stream sniping, no squid bagging, and no spawn camping. Looks like we got a friend request. If whoever this is can give me a shout out in chat. Jaden, Lord Mikey. Give me a shout out in chat, I'll accept. You can join us in match for the next one. Do you have to touch the Alpha Team spawn force field for it to count? I would say you have to be on... Can you step on their little actual spawn point? Like Hector got pretty close there. So, like, if the protectors are on there, you'd have to take them out. Pretty tough to do, but it could be done. If you had, especially if you had your special up there. And your special was like a booyah bomb or something. But again, if anybody has feedback or suggestions for how we could tweak or make this mode a little bit fun, this is the first time we're ever playing it here in the channel, so appreciate any feedback. Let's go, though. Let's go. I'm gonna make one girl on the Bravo team since they don't have the right weapon. And B wants to be Bravo as well. Hector wants to be Alpha. Ryder wants to be Alpha. Gem wants to be Bravo. Okay, and then Seratic is going to be Alpha as well then. Any questions? Any questions? Let's go then. Okay, so on our Alpha team, our protector is trying to keep the enemy out of their base. Using chargers, we got Hector, we got Crack, we got Seratic on the Bravo team, the Surgers, the Attackers, we got using brushes only, we got NB, X Rank, Zari, and Fun Girl 123, who is MLH in chat. Why do I have subscribers only on? It's actually more than just to get subscribers. It is to keep out YouTube spam bots. It is the only consistent, reliable way that I have found to do that. But hello, Splatfan. How are you? That You could start with hello. <laughs> Greetings, salutations. I take it you're new here. Welcome to our happy little community. It's a magical place, full of rainbow and sunshine vibes. We keep it non-toxic here, so maybe, like, switch up that energy. And if it's not the right place for you, 
<laughs> I don't actually care about subscriber numbers really at all, so feel free to unsubscribe. We got Zari going down here. Is that everybody? It is everybody. If, if everyone on the yellow team can jump back to base and we'll do another round. Okay. Round two, go! Fight. <laughs> you were asking it kindly. Sorry if he sounded rude. No worries. No worries. It, it did come off a little rude with the bro. But I don't really speak bro, so I don't know. <laughs> but welcome. Sorry then if I came off rude. <laughs> I don't always know what to do with the bro energy. Lord Mikey, you said a friend request. Okay, thanks for giving me that shout out in chat. If anybody else sent me a friend request, let me know what your Switch username is in chat for me to accept, and you can join us for the next match. My friend code is in that pin message in chat or exclamation point FC. And our happy little robot will share it with you. Welcome to the new folks. Or as Aloha might say, Aloha. Oh, oh, oh. And NB does it, NB does it. Touches that force field. The Surgers win the round. Very impressive, very impressive. Wait, what is extremely rude? Me or someone else? I mean, they apologize. Let's, you know, we can always give people a chance for a, a redemption arc. You get one chance for the redemption arc, honestly. <laughs> okay, we'll do, let's do one more round of spawn surge. Is there another map that we know it will work on? I feel like this one is pretty straightforward and easy to understand for it. I guess also like Schellendorf. They could just touch the wall there. Let me also port mackerel. You can make your back bend in half. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got Splat Fan. We got Lord Mikey. Oh, I usually like to look at what people play here. Fall Guys. We just played Fall Guys yesterday. Are you enjoying Fall Guys? I'm very excited that it's out. Out on Nintendo Switch and free for everybody. Okay, to our new friends, our lobby code. It's super top secret. Don't tell anybody, okay? I'm going to tell you, though, because we're friends now. Five, six, seven, eight. Remember, though, it's top secret. Port macro. 
Well, that's poor mackerel is gonna be hard though. The warehouse. Let's do the warehouse. Oh, wait a second in case our new friends are going to join us. Ceratic, do you want to be on Bravo, Ceratic? Let me pull up the rules here for our new friends. We'll go over them again. So we're doing something called Spawn a Surge. It's our take on cops and... Oh, excuse me. Cops and robbers that you may have played on other minigame streams. So our Bravo team are going to be the Surgers, the Attackers. They're trying to get to the other team's base and touch it. Put their hands on it. They're going to use brushes only as their weapons. They, however, do not have respawn. So if they get splatted even just once, they have to stay in their base for the rest of the match. If, however, even just one Surger survives and makes it to the Protector's base and touches it, touches their force field, the team wins. The Alpha team, the Protectors, are going to use Chargers only for their weapons. They do have respawn. If the Protectors splat all the Surgers before they get to their base or timers out in the match, they win. Subs and specials are allowed for everybody. As with all of our games here on the channel, there's no stream sniping. There's no squid bagging. Let's keep things non-toxic in game and in chat and no spawn camping either. Let that other team out of their base. I guess it is still relevant in this mode because if, theoretically, if the protectors could make it to their team's base first, they could, they could be spawn camping, but probably not too much of an issue in this particular mode. Okay, I'm going to spectate. I'm going to reset everybody, actually, since you all have a bunch of requests. I'll leave MLH since they got a weapon restriction. Okay, we got Hector saying Alpha. Aloha. See, Bravo. And be bravo again. You're doing a wordle. Did you what did you finish the wordle already? Spot fan bravo. Lord Mikey Bravo. I think that's all our Bravo, so we uh, uh, we did have Seratic wanted to be Bravo as well though, actually, so whoever was last there. Lord Mikey, you can be Bravo on the next one. We can't have everybody be Bravo. <laughs> they go in the order people ask in chat. Okay, I guess actually I have to have Lord Mikey be. Be Alpha and Splat and be Alpha as well. Can you use the Kenza Octorush. If if you are on Bravo, you can use the Kenza Octorush. But it looks like you've got SWAT to uh wait, fun wanted to spectate. Oh I missed that, I missed that. Okay. Well then I can be Alpha and I believe Splat Fan. So many chat messages. So that fan was the first out of those two to ask for Bravo, so okay. Lord Mikey will help you be Bravo next turn. As always, too, if you want to spectate because you got to go AFK or something else, it's usually best if you can actually just leave the lobby. That way, we're not all waiting for you on the ready up screen for the whole minute. And that way, somebody else can get in the, get in the lobby if they need to. Okay, so our Alpha team using Chargers only. Oh gosh, I ended up on Alpha. At least I have respawn. <laughs> so Alpha team Chargers only. 
Bravo team. Brushes only. Looks like they... If you can make sure your teammates are all picking the right stuff too. Call it out in chat if they're not, so we can get it fixed before we get into the match. Splat fan giving away their ink, their strategy using ink armor. Just waiting on. Lord Mikey and Seratic, I think, to ready up. Octobrushes do count as a brush. Any brush you'd like if you're on the Bravo team. You got 20 more seconds. Slightly less than that because of the stream delay. <laughs> Just pick a brush, Seratic, please, please, quick. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Flat fan ready up too. Splat fan, you don't care what team you're on, you want to destroy well. Uh that's an interesting approach. <laughs> you might since your your team does not have a respawn, you might want to play it a little bit more safely, a little bit more carefully. You gotta be calculated in your surge because one laser finds you connects and splats you you're out Takes me out. Ah, uh, they got to the force field. GGs, GGs. We can actually, if you all super jump back to base, we can go again. Hello, Rockstar Foxy. Welcome, welcome. How you doing today? Happy. What day is it? Happy Wednesday. One Woomy Wednesday. Okay, looks like everybody is hopefully back in their base. Let's go again. Go. Not a lot of, not a ton of time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't say go yet. We just said go right now. <laughs> I don't think they got the memo. Aloha with the sneak attack there. I guess we're going still. Even though it got a little a little bit scuffed. Okay, they got them. There's no squid bagging now, friend. No squid bagging. NB, you know better than that. You sent a friend request, okay. Ken, hello. Oh my gosh, so many new friends. Welcome. Ken. To the new folks, if you want to join us in the lobby 
exclamation point F C I'm not ready for your game mode yet. I don't have I haven't had a chance to edit the rules here. Writer, I'm trying, I'm trying. I think maybe we do one more round of that. Also, for folks that have had have been in the lobby for a while, played quite a few games with us, if you could be so kind, since we got some new friends here in the in the stream, step out, back out of the lobby for a few rounds, let other people have a chance to play. I can't fit all these in one rule sheet, Ryder. You keep coming up with more rules. <laughs> Also, people have a very low uh, comprehension and memory for rules, so l the less rules, the better. We'll do one more round, at least, of, of the spawn surge that we've been doing. <laughs> That's all your rules. I <laughs> you know, but there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. We did hide and seek earlier, Splatfan. Usually, don't go back to it. Sometimes, randomly, everybody, like, goes and has dinner or has to go to bed or whatever at the same time and we go back down to a few people so when that happens then we uh sometimes have to go back to hide and seek but usually we just do it at the beginning of the stream while we're waiting for people to trickle in you gotta go nb well thanks so much for hanging out friend have a good one We are doing a variety stream, a viewer's choice variety stream tomorrow, where you all are going to vote at the beginning of stream for what we play. 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2100 UTC tomorrow. Friday, we're doing Minecraft. Saturday, I'm not sure we're doing. We might, we normally have a doing Splatoon on Saturdays, but I think we're going to switch it up. Keep it spicy. Don't worry, though, we do Splatoon. At least a couple times a week here on the channel. So if you're a big splat fan, big fan of the splats, we got you. Laser tag, laser tag. We're we're also not doing laser tag, but we're this mode. If you want to be on the alpha team here, or the protector team here, it's, it's like laser tag because you got a charger. You can splat as much as you'd like. Okay, question for you, Aloha, about your mode. So when you say everyone can only move from the beacons, do you mean that they c literally can't, they can super jump to beacons and cannot move otherwise? <laughs> That's one thing I'm a little confused about. And our subs and specials a lot. Those are my questions. Beacon people don't use specials, only beacons. So I assume my subs and specials for everybody else. The person that can place beacons, though, they can move around but can't ink. No ink jet or stingray, okay. So you said there was no more rules, but I got like 10 more rules here. <laughs> Oh, 
or hammer. Victor says no hammer. Or hammer, okay. <laughs> I'm try I'll try to edit edit those rules as between other rounds, but let's let's go again here. Any other stages that we think would work well for this particular mode that we're doing? The spawn search. Hammer is moving, ink jet is unfair. Inkjet has unfair and so Stingray, yeah. <laughs> Stingray, definitely. Which is why I think we're seeing such a change to the Stingray-like weapon in Splatoon 3. I forget, somebody else had suggestions for uh, maps for this mode, but I don't remember what they were. I feel like Splashdown and Tenta Missiles, we're talking about a different mode that I don't think you were here when we were discussing. No Tenta Missiles either. Oh my gosh, the, this list of banned things just keeps going up and you're not mentioning them all. <laughs> Ultra Stamp is the real name of that, not Hammer, but yeah, okay. Or want a mall? That's what we did before. Should we go back to that? Let's do it because we're just sitting here. And I'd rather be playing. <laughs> okay, if folks have a request for surge or protect let me know i'm gonna reset everybody if you want to use a charger splat fan you might want to be alpha since we're not doing laser tag today <laughs> oh my gosh, Aloha, you said any weapons, and now you got all these restrictions. <laughs> oh dear. Hector Bravo, Aloha Alpha, Zari Bravo, Ken Bravo. Ken, did you change your name? Or has it just been a while since you've joined us? Cause you, or did I accept your phone request? I'm, my brain is kind of mush today. <laughs> I can't remember. I gotta spectate. Since we've got uneven teams here. And Lord Mikey and Splatfan have to be on the Alpha team because we already had too many people pick the Bravo team. It's been a while, Ken, okay. Good, my brain is not total mush. <laughs> Just, you know, mostly mush. Okay, so spawn, surge, our alpha team, the protectors using chargers only. We got crack. We got Lord Mikey. We got splat fan. Bravo. The surgers, the attackers using brushes only. We got Hector, Zari, and Ken. I'll go over the rest of the rules, too, since we got some new folks in here. Surgers are trying to get to... Surgers, the Bravo team, trying to get to the Protector's base before they get splatted. If they get splatted even just once, they have to stay in their base for the rest of the match. No respawn. 
If, however, even just one Surger survives and makes it to the Protector's base and touches that force field, they win. The Alpha Team, the Protectors, do have respawn. If they splat all the Surgers before they get to their base, or if time runs out in the match, they win the round. Subs and specials are allowed for everybody. And as always, no stream sniping, no squid bagging, no spawn or base camping. Happy check mark. Unknown, hello unknown, how are you doing? I checked, I checked, it just took a sec. I'm reading the rules. Rules are important. I know rules don't always seem fun, but rules may help make sure that everybody has fun. <laughs> so super important. Oh, the sneak attack, the sneak attack from Ken. Jump scare. <laughs> We got Ken touching that force field. Okay, we got still got time left though. So if everybody in the lobby can super jump back to base, we will do another round. So hold off until I say go to start that second round. Okay, we got everybody on base. We got everybody on base. Do we have a disconnect? It looks like we did have a disconnect, but we'll just go anyways. If somebody from the blue team wants to volunteer to sit out since we have uneven teams. One minute remaining. There's no squid bagging, Hector. I have to spectate you. What a round, friend. You had to disconnect the yeah, eyes saw that. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I'm uh, trying to get the rules ready for the other game mode. Agent 8 in the lobby. Is Agent 8 here in chat? Trying to edit your rules, Ryder. 
<laughs> what happens, Ryder, if we're on a map where you have to ink in order to get around the map? Or do we got to play on maps that you could just walk through? Luna, hello. Midnight, you're in. Oh, you're Agent E at midnight. Okay. <laughs> We've got a few Agent folks here, so sometimes I get them mixed up in my head. a lot of rules for this one so okay I think I got it down to recommended maps port macro warehouse and hotel map okay we're gonna try out another new mini game our second new mini game of the stream very very exciting love switching stuff up around here it's part of the reason that we like playing mini games is because you know we 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 all have been on that splatoon grind we might want to do something a little different a little special a little fancy a little spicy Okay, so this one is called Beacon Breach. Give me just one sec here to paste and format the rules. There's so many rules. There's so many rules. Okay, so this is like a very interesting, interesting take on, uh, on Turf War. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Does it fit on the screen? Kind of. <laughs> here we go. Beacon Breach. Okay, so there's going to be one person on each team. We're going to call them the beacon of their team. Or we could call it the captain of their team. Or I don't know. But so, okay, so that one special person, person on each team is going to use a brush with a beacon. Or if you don't have a brush with a beacon, it could be any other weapon with a beacon, but... Um, oops, I dropped drop my controller. Um, okay, so that person is going to have 30 seconds at the beginning of the match to walk around the map and place down beacons. Now, throughout the whole match, this person cannot use their main or their special, so they can't ink at all. They can just place beacons. Um, 
and they cannot attack. They can just, but they can walk around. And that part's important because everybody else in the match, once those 30 seconds is up, everyone else can leave spawn. Everyone else though can only super jump to other beacons. No walking or swimming around. They can use the weapon of their choice, but no torpedoes, auto bombs, inkjet, stingray, booyah bomb, tenna missiles, or ultra stamp allowed for those, uh, the other people on the team. Um, and again, the person with the beacon can't, can't attack at all. They can't use main or special, just beacons. Most turf wins. So it's like a very interesting take on a turf war. <laughs> and as always, no stream sniping, no squid bagging, no spawn or base camping. Luna, you sent a friend request. Thanks for, thanks for the heads up there. <laughs> I was busy typing out all these rules. Oh, 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 doggies, doggies. I think the door, the, the door just closed from the air conditioning. It wasn't closed all the way, but they think, you know, they think that they're going to, someone's trying to murder me, then they need to protect me. And now they're both back asleep. <laughs> okay, Hector, I, I'm going to have to spectate you because of the squid bagging. If you can just let me know you understand the rule, there's no squid bagging allowed here on the channel. We keep it non-toxic both in-game and in chat. Is bubble blower allowed? Sure? <laughs> that would be my answer too. Does everybody understand? Any questions? Any thoughts? This is a new mode. Like I said, we've never played this one before, so... As always, open to any feedback, suggestions. What about bomb launchers? I, those would be okay, because, uh, yeah, I think those would be fine. Midnight, sure, ask a question, ask, ask a question. I'm going to keep editing these rules a little bit. Can you party at spawn while I'm waiting? Sure. There. My little love. My little lump. There's nobody out there. <laughs> He's like sitting at the door being like, who's out there? What's going on out there? I don't think, maybe David came home. I don't think he did. Can you voice chat on Splatnet? We do not use voice chats here. If folks do end up doing voice chat, I do ask that you follow our community guidelines. I will not be voice chatting. So that means keep it non-toxic, keep it family friendly, no swearing, no adult language. So I'm going to I'm going to guess by your uh name that I probably don't want to voice chat with you. <laughs> Depends what you mean by sick in your name. <laughs> any questions? Any questions? So any volunteers to be the first beacon? Beacon holder? What do we need a special name for the people with the beacons?
Oh no, Splenta and your Switch died. Sad. Go charge it. Can you use blah, 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 but you can't pop it? What's That doesn't do anything then, right? I think we just let it, let all those things be. <laughs> There's already a lot of restrictions here. Let's say, let's play it, see how it goes. <laughs> Can you use rain? Sure, I'd say rain is fine. Because we're not trying to hide. It's basically just a turf war. There's just restrictions on movement. Okay, we're going to go. I guess I'll just try to pick... Uh, pick a beacon? For each team? And make the teams up? But it'd be, probably be better if we have volunteers for, for Beacon. How would you fight a person? Well, so it's about... The only way you could really fight is... It's not about fight, first of all. It's about turf. So most turf wins. So you're really just trying to ink turf. If there were beacons next to each other, the folks who don't... the ever So one person has the beacon. They can't fight really at all. They can just place beacons. The other person... Or the other people on their team, though, can use weapons. They just can't move except between beacons via super jump. Makes sense. So if there was two beacons from two different teams within firing range of each other, then you could attack each other. Yeah, you can't really use... You couldn't really use roller unless you were gonna... Um, unless you were just using the dynamo roller or something or just just splashing the ink just zr but you can't you can't walk around if you aren't the person placing beacons from my understanding we'll just try it we'll just try it <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit harder to understand for everybody than that last one for sure. But we'll we'll try it. We'll give it a good old shot. No vertical swing. Oh my gosh, Ryder. So many restrictions on everything. Those aren't in my rules, Ryder. <laughs> I'll consider adding them. But I don't think those things are all going to be problems. Because nobody has any movement. Okay, so I got Luna. I'm going to split up the higher level people here. Luna and Ken. And then we got Splatfan and Zari. Hector, I did say I was going to spectate you. I guess I gotta spectate too. It's probably actually better if I spectate. Beacon holder is the sparkle person. They give other people joy. Yeah, Hector is gonna spectate. I have to spectate too to keep the teams even. Uh... There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have Aloha be the beacon person for their team. So Crack in game is going to be the beacon. Pick in a beacon, a brush with a beacon, and then we're going to have... I guess y'all need to let me know that you have the right weapons. Let's have Luna be the beacon holder on the other team.
Should have probably decided that before we went to this screen. So we got Luna and Crack as the beacon holders for their teams. And then picking a brush with... Aloha, you don't have beacons as your mode. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, then. Splatfair, you are the beacon holder for your team. We've been sitting here for 20 minutes. <laughs> Splat fan, pick something with a beacon. Preferably the brush with the beacon. Luna, if you can also let me know that you got the memo that you're picking something with a beacon. I feel like this got scuffed already. So remember, only the person with the beacon, so Splatfan and Luna, are allowed to walk around. Everybody else can only super jump between beacons, and only the person with the beacons can move for the first 30 seconds here. So Splatfan, you failed. Oh no. You failed to get a beacon. I guess your team doesn't move? Everybody picked the wrong weapon. Okay. Turf War. We're just Turf War and then. Just Turf War. And we'll fix it. We'll, we'll do a redo. And make sure we got people... Know, make sure people know that they're on the right team. So most turf still wins, though. Can they super jump to you? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I guess if we're gonna call the people that are spreading the beacons beacons, then technically, kind of, they are beacons, right? I don't know. I I would say let's let's allow that. But we might have to see how it plays out actually in real gameplay and get rid of it accordingly. If it if it becomes too strong. Cause then basically it, it might what it, that might turn into is just everybody just constantly super jumping to the regular beacon person and not any other beacons, and that kinda defeats the purpose. <laughs> But interesting question. Interesting question for sure. So again, we're just we're just turf war in here. On top of everything else, Ryder, you pick something with a torpedo, and that was on your own list of banned weapons. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Just a few moments left here. Somebody else, Luna picked 10 missiles, no 10 missiles. Luna, can you make sure that you're letting me know you're here in chat paying attention to minigame rules? Because it kind of doesn't seem like it. You said hello. Except my friend request, but then. Okay, Ryder's gonna go buy something with Beacon if you if you can. Yeah, I don't know if you, you might also maybe want to switch to your other account. I don't know.
use the auto bombs and the baller. Yeah, but okay, so you thought we were doing regular turf war, but we didn't say that until after the match started and you already had those weapons. <laughs> so when you're picking weapons, don't pick anything with torpedoes, ink, uh, uh, inkjet, auto bombs, stingray, blue bombs, tenda missiles, ultra storm. That goes for everybody. You gotta go anyways, Luna. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by, Luna. Ryder, you're gonna switch accounts. Okay. We, we shall wait. We shall wait for you, Ryder. But try to make it speedy. Can you jump in place? I think, Ryder, I think before we add any more rules or restrictions, we gotta play it once. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's turf war, so I don't think chargers actually are going to be that OP, but chargers are not usually a great pick in turf war. Especially when one person from the team can't ink. So it's like chargers are good if you're like a backliner. But the, the beacon person is like the back liner, but they can't ink. So, you know what I mean? I think vertical swing is fine. I, Ryder, I'm, I appreciate you coming up with the idea here. <laughs> it, 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 I, we're used a lot of your ideas here, but that's my stream, so I'm the one that's ultimately going to make the rolls. So the only real rules are what's on screen here. <laughs> if it's OP, you're taking it up. Well, you could just tell me, give me the feedback when we actually play it. But I think in reality, in reality, in turf four, chargers aren't that strong. It's hard to get a lot of ink coverage with it. So if, since most turf wins here, I don't think chargers are going to be that big of a problem. I don't think there's even going to be that much splatting happening. Now, because chargers do have more range, we could say like no E-leader, no scope. So it's, people are probably going to be kind of far apart from each other. Bomb launchers, bombs only, bomb launchers are fine. <laughs> we do do a... Uh, we do do a uh, dodgeball, which is burst bombs only. Here, a lot splat fan. It's super fun. They can splat. It's true. They can splat, but it, splats aren't what wins the match, right? It's ink. And you're already down one person inking. I think let's just try it. You can... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I, I, obviously if rules don't work if a mini game doesn't work I'm I want it to be fair and fun for everybody so we'll change it but you can't ban every single thing and have 40,000 rules we already got a whole big screen of rules here I only have room to add more rules really <laughs> Okay, we didn't mean to do that hour on all by the way. Let's go somewhere else. What what would be a good? Let's go to Schellendorf. We didn't do Schellendorf earlier. Although, ooh, 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 you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the pit because of the restriction on No vertical movement for the uh, beacon person. Or skipper, maybe? What were the other maps you suggested earlier? Did I paste those? Mackerel, warehouse, hotel. Let's do, let's do hotel. Okay. So 
So you got something with the beacon. Do I have somebody from the other team who's willing and able with a beacon in their inventory? Hector, you're off spectate, but if I see you squid begging again, Hector, I'm going to have to just leave you on spectate for the rest of the stream, unfortunately, friend. <laughs> you can't just ban everything. If you can't walk or swim and you need to super jump to beacons, how do you play your weapon of choice? So you can super jump to a beacon no matter what weapon you have, right? So once you get to a beacon, it's turf war, basically. Down at the bottom, maybe I should put that at the top. Most turf wins. So it's not Splats that's winning, it's turf. So you're going to super jump to a beacon. You're going to try to ink up as far around that beacon as possible. And then the person who's spreading out beacons is going to be moving around the map, putting down more beacons throughout the match as well. And then only when two teams are at the same beacons and the beacons are close to each other is when you would actually fight. So it's just like a really interesting version of Turf War, if that makes sense. Midnight, you can be a beacon. Perfect. Um, I'm going to put you on the other team then, Midnight. I'm going to swap Hector over to this team. So we're going to have Ryder as a beacon and Agent 8 as a beacon. So I'll go over the rules one more time. <laughs> So one person on each team. So Agent 8 for the Bravo team, Ryder for the Alpha team are the beacon. They are beacons of light. <laughs> so they're going to, at the beginning of the match, for the first 30 seconds, walk around the map and put down beacons. Nobody else can move for that first 30 seconds. Our beacons of light, Ryder and Agent 8. For the entire match, they can't use their main or their special. All they can do is put down beacons. But, critically, they can just walk around too, so nobody else is allowed to walk around. Everybody else can only super jump between beacons. That's their only movement that they're allowed to do. No walking or swimming in ink. They can otherwise, though, use their weapon of choice, except for everybody in the whole match. There's no torpedoes. No auto bombs, no inkjet, no stingray, no booyah bombs, no tana missiles, no ultra stamp. Now this is, like I said, is basically like a very interesting version of turf war. So most turf is what's going to decide who wins. And as always, there's no stream sniping, no squid bagging, no spawner base camping. Let's go, let's go. So again, Ryder, Agent 8, pick something with a beacon as the sub. Can you break beacons? You can, you can. Probably, I didn't realize it got so late already. We'll probably do like, we'll try to do like two or three quick rounds of this. And then I probably got to ramp up the stream after that. We spend so much time. Uh... Regular Octobrush has beacons. Okay. Well, I just said anything with beacons. So... I know on the rules there it says brush with a beacon, but anything with a beacon shall do. Midnight, you're using the E-Leader 4K scope? Oh my goodness. Hector, you want to be a beacon next next round. Okay. We did say you can... Uh... Oh, you retracted your message. Hector, do not want to be a beacon.
Oh, stream elements deleted it. That's weird. I don't know why. The 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 robot didn't like you saying that. <laughs> Okay, so just beacons. Nobody else can move or ink for these first 30 seconds. Splat in. 30 seconds, you can't move. Splat in. Splat in. Splat in. You gotta stand still for 20 seconds longer, but the other person on your team can go. Ken, you can go. Everybody else can go. Super jump. Super jump to the beacons. Hector. Zari. Ken. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe we don't do more of this. I think this is too hard to understand for everybody. Hector, you can't move. You can only super jump between beacons. That's the only movement for everybody except Agent 8 and Ryder. Why is everyone just standing still now? I'm so confused. Ryder no squid bagging. <laughs> so, everyone who's not putting down beacons can only super jump between, and they can ink otherwise. Like, Hector, why aren't you inking? It's a, it's a turf war. You're trying to get in coverage. <laughs> Ken, you don't know what's going on. It's People seem like they understood. Okay, so Ken. You and Splatfan are trying to get in coverage. As much in coverage as possible. You have respawn. You can, if you go down, you can just super jump to a beacon. Or to the person on your team who's spreading out beacons. You want to be inking as much as possible, since the most ink coverage wins the match. I'll have to think of a better way to explain this. I tried, I tried. Ken takes down. So again, the people spreading beacons, Hector and Zara, you can super jump to another beacon or you can super jump to Ryder. I believe the blue team won there, but not really sure why a lot of the yellow team was sitting on spawn after they died. <laughs> this is honestly pretty close. <laughs> Do y'all understand now? Do we get it? Do we get it? I have the wrong name in the corner. Yeah, let's. I say we'll try one more time. Give it a one more solid try here. They destroyed all the beacons. I know. Well, we said that th that the person spreading beacons is called the a beacon as well, so that they could have super jumped to you. Midnight, you were just trying to place beacons. You died once. GG's, GG's. Kind of get it now? Okay. Hopefully, hopefully you get it. We're going to keep the teams exactly the same. We're even going to keep the same beacon beacons on your team. So Ryder and Agent 8. So that way we just did less variables for people to get confused. And if you, any, again, anybody has any questions or you're not sure what's going on, let me know. I'll go over the rules one more time. So there's one person on each team who is a beacon of light. Everyone looks to them. 
we'll use some language like we use for Be My Bestie. Um, for where to go in life, for what direction to head. <laughs> now that person though, all they can do in the match is put down beacons. They can't use their main, they can't use their special. They can, however, walk around, which is important, and we'll, we'll get into that. But for the first 30 seconds of the match, nobody can move except for those two beacons in the match. Everyone else stays on point. And then after the first 30 seconds is over, everybody else can finally do something. However, all they can do, the only movement option they have during the whole match, is to super jump either between beacons that have been placed down or super jump to the player who is placing down the beacons. They cannot walk, they cannot swim. They can, however, once they get to that beacon point or super jump to their friend who's spreading beacons, can use the weapon of their choice, except there are no torpedoes, no auto bombs, no inkjet, no stingray, no booyah bomb, no tena missiles, no ultra stamp. Those are all explicitly banned in this game mode. Now, this is basically a fancy version of Turf War. <laughs> so, uh, most turf covered with ink by those other people who aren't the beacon on each team is what's going to win the match. So, once you super jump to that those beacons, other people on the team, you are going to just try to ink up the area. If you're within range of another team's beacon where they're all inking, you can try to take them out. But basically, you're trying to just ink. You can also take out their... Um, take out their beacons, which is what Splatfam was doing in that last round. Hopefully that all makes more sense. Now they've played it once. Jacob, hopefully you were listening to all those rules. Jacob, can you give me a shout out in chat so I know you're here and paying attention to rules? Oh, Jacob gone. <laughs> Jacob's like, this sounds complicated. <laughs> Ryder ink the ground while you were trying to slap them. Just with the beacon, though, right? All Ryder, Ryder, all you're allowed to do as the beacon person is put down beacons, not ink. Otherwise, that was my understanding from the rules. Ryder cannot attack. Oh, Jacob, you had to go. Well, hello, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Very short st visit to the stream here, but always happy to see you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I guess you said cannot attack, Ryder, but I assumed that meant you couldn't ink. I think that's easier to enforce. Hector, I, I, I did, uh, you, I did say, though, that we're gonna keep the everything the same for this next round, just because so people don't get confused. We'll do. Uh, you'll get a chance to do something else, button Hector, but we're gonna leave Ryder as the just while we're figuring this out because this is a new mode. It seems like it's a little confusing. I think we're getting it. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. We're going to go ahead and go, though. We're even going to stay on the same stage. So again, Ryder is our one beacon of light on the Alpha team. Agent 8. His Midnight is going to be the, the beacon on the other team. So they're picking weapons with beacons. Everybody else picking whatever weapon they want, except for, remember, no torpedoes. Auto bombs, inkjet, stingray, booyah bomb, tena missiles, or ultra stamp. Splatfan's strategy is to destroy the beacons. So Hector, you Ryder is the is the beacon person for your team. Just so you know. After I said that you could do it, I said, right, we're just going to have Ryder do it again since everybody got confused. <laughs> or if I didn't say that, that's what I meant to say.
Okay, so first 30 seconds of the match, only the beacons are allowed to go out into the map. Ryder, I thought no inking, just walking and putting down beacons is what we said. Okay. Everyone else, free to super jump between beacons, but that's all you can do is super jump between beacons. And you want to go ink. Ken, Splatfan, Hector, R oh, Ryder was already... Zari. <laughs> Zari takes out Ken. Can't quite get to Agent 8 there. But try. So, so remember, it's like a turf war, so... Most turf is what's going to determine who wins, so cover in coverage more important than splats. And you can, besides just super jumping to the beacons, you can super jump to the person on your team who is putting down beacons. So if you're on the blue team, you can super jump to Agent 8. If you are already inked up by all the beacons that Agent 8 has put down. You can super jump, but you can't move. He didn't move too much, but... Agent 8, you do have respawn, so you can't go back out into the map. You can also super jump to your own beacons. Less than a minute left in the match. I feel like y'all are understanding more. We are all concentrated in one big area in the middle, though. Remember, you're trying to ink up the whole map. Most turf wins. Just a few moments left. It was so close there, but the yellow team did ink out the win just barely. 0.3% of the ink. But again, it could have been if, if, if both teams were concentrating on inking a little bit more rather than just fighting in the middle of the map. Probably could have, one team probably could have really run away with it. Okay, let's do, I think that one much better, right? Let's do one more round of that. We'll give Hector a turn. We'll swamp up the map. What were the other maps here that folks suggested? Warehouse, Port Mackerel. We'll do the port. Or Wahoo World? I like Wahoo World. Let's do Wahoo World. I like Wahoo World better than the port.
Don't do Black Valley Skate Park. You don't like that map? Okay. Uh, so I got Hector replacing Ryder. I'm going to keep the teams the same since they seem pretty balanced. But I have Hector as the beacon for the Alpha team this time. Does anybody else from the Bravo team, Ken, Splatfan, do you want to be the beacon? Or you want to, uh, Midnight, do you want to stay the beacon? I'll pull the rules back up here. I won't go over them again. I think we got it. Hopefully. Hector, you love Wahoo World. Let's go. Splatfan does not want to be the beacon. Ken, do you want to be the beacon? Midnight, do you do you want to be stay the beacon? <laughs> I feel like Midnight was doing a good job as the beacon. We need to come up with a special, a better name than just Beacon. Because I think it's a little confusing. You want to not be the Beacon again. Ken, do you have a weapon with a Beacon? Do you know? Ken, you will be the Beacon. Okay. Let's hope that you have... Oh, you do. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Happy be a beacon. Happy spectating because we got uneven teams here. <laughs> okay, so we got Ken as the Bravo team beacon, and we got Hector as the Alpha team beacon. Midnight, you want to destroy? You mean you want to get in coverage? Yes, <laughs> again, most turf wins. Maybe I need to put that part down at the bottom of the screen in capital letters. <laughs> um, one thing that I noticed that both teams did is you, the people that are sitting on point waiting, you all should be looking at the timer in the top. Don't wait for me to say it. Because there's a little bit of a stream delay sometimes. Look at the top when those 30 seconds are gone. When it, the clock hits 2.30. You super jump. You can even be ready and waiting to super jump. I'll still say it. But uh, people on both teams were like 5, 10, 15 seconds late. And the other thing was that I said already, but I'll say it again. You, you all want to try to get coverage around the whole map. Everybody bunched up in the middle and left like 80% of the map uncovered. 70% of the map uncovered from both teams, but okay. So again, Hector picking something with the beacon as the sub, but can only use the beacon. No main, no special for Hector. Same goes for Ken. And then for everybody else, no torpedoes, auto bombs, inkjet, stingray, booyah bombs, tenna missiles, or ultra stamp. The beacons can only put down beacons. No other inking. Just walking and putting down beacons. And everybody else can only move by super jumping between either the the super jumping to beacons or super jumping to their teammate who is putting down the beacons. So super jumping to either Hector or to Ken. And again, most turf is what wins, so you're going for ink coverage here. Very close on that last one. No stream sniping, no squid bagging, no spawner base camping. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so again, 30 seconds for our beacons to put down more beacons. Be a beacon of light for your team. For all that is good and right. OK, 
kind of want to put down as many beacons as you can too because the other team might take him out. You might want to think about it like if you're a backliner, thinking about strategically put, placing those beacons. Hector, you cannot use weapons. You can just put down beacons. That's all you can do. You got to rely on your teammates for everything else. You can't fight back, Hector. Let's check on Ken here. See how Ken is doing. Remember, we're going for ink coverage for everybody else, so... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Super jump into a splashdown there. Super jump into a splashdown. 90 seconds left. Beacon person cannot splat, that's right. Looks pretty even on in coverage, actually. It looks like yellow might have a little bit more coverage in their base area, though. Just like in a regular match of Turf War, I, I am always the person inking on my base because people always forget to do it. It's free points. It's free points. Ryder goes down. Just 10 seconds left in the match. Last chance to ink. yellow team that that base inking i think is what saved you there that curve on the right hand side ggs everybody though ggs who's the beacon person it was ken and hector ken didn't nobody had splats ken did not have splats and hector did not have splats You just shredded everybody. You got to remember what the objective of the mode is, though. You don't win by just shredding. You win by inking. <laughs> okay, I got time for... Let me check something here. I had time for one more. You guys want to do one more... One more round of this. Then I gotta go for today. But don't you worry. We're gonna be back tomorrow with a viewer's choice variety stream. Two PM Pacific, five PM Eastern, twenty one hundred UTC. Friday we're gonna do a Minecraft stream. And then Saturday, I think I'm going to do some kind of bonus stream on Saturday, but I'm not sure what yet. Might be Animal Crossing. We'll have to see. Fashion show? I will do a fashion show, too. I just meant one more non-fashion show. We always wrap things up here on the stream with a fashion show. Squid party.
Hector, can you can you beacon again? This is so this is gonna be our last regular match, Thought Fan. And then we're gonna do do a fashion show slash squid party to wrap up the stream. Get all of get all of the splatting out now, Splat Fan though, because our fashion show squid parties are non-violent. It's just showing off what we're wearing and dancing and wiggling and giggling. No splatting. So get all that chaos and destruction out right now. In this last match. Okay, we got we got Hector wanting to be the beacon again. Uh Ken, do you want to be the beacon again? Or Winter Wonderland theme? Is that what we said? I love, I got a list here. Oh, I, that that was the runner up last time. Sure, we can do Winter Wonderland. You yeah, we'll 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 talk about the fashion show in just a little bit. But we're still we're st we're, st we're still battling it out. We got one more match here of Beacon Breach. So don't change your outfit yet. <laughs> okay, let's go to let's go to the port. Let's 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 do it. Okay, Ken says that they will again be the beacon. Okay, so we got the same same rules as last time then. I'll pull up the rules just because. I'm not going to go over all of them again, though. I feel like y'all got it. Y'all got it? Is this fun? Do you like this mode? Should we do this one more often? Let me know in chat. Ryder, uh, side note to Ryder. Ryder, I don't think we need any more weapon restrictions. I don't feel like anything is super OP. Both the matches have been pretty close. Even when the other team was picking stuff that you thought was going to be OP. I think the movement restrictions really help balance all that out. Did I know gaming? Do I know gaming? Or did I, did it did I know gaming? Did I did I? I don't I don't know what you mean to that fan bet. I honestly think we could probably even take out the auto bombs, maybe just because, like, if you're in that close enough range for auto bombs to work, like, you could just use your weapon on them. <laughs> the other ones I would keep. But you're still thinking about chargers. You're still thinking about. I think it's fine. <laughs> oh, we we definitely have rules, Splat Fan. We dev we always have rules here. Keep auto bombs. Okay. Well, I mean, it's in there. Uh, we'll keep it. <laughs> I don't think we need it, but okay. So we got the same exact teams. Teams seem pretty fair. So we got Hector again as the beacon for their team, picking something with beacons as the sub. We got Ken as the beacon for the Bravo team. Everybody else, again, pick whatever weapons you'd like except no torpedoes, autobombs, inkjet, stingray, booyah bomb, tena missiles, or ultra stamp. <laughs> Splat fan. You can, after the stream, you can go, go play regular Splatoon. And remember too, most turf is what wins here. So don't go for splats so much that you forget what actually wins the match. Which is ink coverage. Again, reminder, we'll go over some of the rules while people are still writing up. Reminder to the to the beacons, to Hector, to Ken. You cannot ink. You can just walk around and put down beacons. No main, no sub. Or no main, no special rather. <laughs> All sub. <laughs> and a reminder to everybody else, you can't do anything for those first 30 seconds. But right at that 2 minute 30 mark, 
super jump either to the person spreading beacons or one of those beacons. Splatfam, please just follow the rules. If you don't, it's going to be a block and a ban. Part of our community guidelines here. Don't want to ruin the fun for everybody else. Okay, 30 seconds are up. Everybody can super jump to those beacons. Getting right past Splat in there, but just go down to them a moment later. Add a different beacon. Don't forget to don't forget to ink up your bases too. Three points, three points. Less than a minute remaining. Ryder and Zari teaming up to take out Splatfan there. I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of yellow on this map. I think Blue might need to focus a little bit more on ink coverage here. A little less on taking down beacons and... Latin. We got a friend request. We got a new friend. Can whoever that is give me a shout out in chat with your Switch username and I will accept after the match, which just has about 10 seconds left remaining. We're doing a special new mode. First time we're trying out today, Beacon Breach. Took us a little bit to figure it all out. I'll get on the same page, but I think it's actually pretty fun. You all let me know what you think in chat. Ooh, Blue came back with quite a bit of ink coverage at the end there. But not quite enough to get the dub yellow team shut out. Wins all three matches of Beacon Breach. Let's go. We are gonna... We are... That was our last match. Regular match of the stream. Short dude, hello. Welcome. I like to look at what people play. Ooh, Splatoon, Animal Crossing, Fall Guys. 10 hours of Fall Guys. Wait, no. First played 10 hours ago. Okay. <laughs> That's different. We just did a Fall Guys stream yesterday. Lots of fun. We play Mario, or Minecraft here on the channel. We're going to do that on Friday this week. We do Splatoon a couple days a week, and then... The rest of the week, we do Minecraft and a bunch of variety streams. But welcome to our happy little community, friend. You came right towards the end of stream. Like I said, we're going to do... That was our last regular match in PBs. And we are going to do... Been doing mini games all day. We're going to go to MC Princess Diaries. The theme for today's fashion show slash squid party is winter wonder land now that it's summer what do we want to do we want to pretend like it's not because it's too hot out thanks global warming it's 
So theme is winter wonderland. You're all gonna dress in your winteriest, wonderiest clothing. Again, our squid parties here are non-violent. Our fashion shows are non-violent. The only, the only destruction I want to see is you slaying it on the runway. <laughs> with your fashion. Not with ink. <laughs> yeah, if folks have... So ink colors are going to be white or blue. If you have a preference for ink color, you got one minute from right this very moment to let me know. In fact, I'm just going to go here. I'll reset everybody and then the, uh... Okay, Aloha wants white. Midnight doesn't matter, Splat Fan blue. Zari white. Hector white. Midnight blue. Okay, we're out of spots for blue. So short dude Ken and myself end up on white as well. Is that right? Wait, no, Zari was white. So I'll be blue. <laughs> I think I got that all right. Let's hope so. We're going to go, though. So pick your outfit. The winteriest, wonderiest here. We'll go with, I'm gonna go with the Luna Blaster. Makes kind of like fireworks. Maybe some snow. What else do I got? I got this cozy hat. I just wore that cozy sweater last week, so I gotta pick something else. Well, this, this, this goes, this goes. This works, I'm digging it. Ooh, no, these. I got. I gotta have these boots because they go with everything else. Real nice, and they're good in the snow. So everybody, once you're ready with your outfit, ready up. So we actually, if let me know in chat if you have a special theme that you came up with or a special idea. I always like to hear like, what is your inspiration? What were you thinking? So let me know in chat what your interpretation of Winter Wonderland was. Does the winner get a killer whale? The the, the winner does not. There is, we actually don't pick winners here for the fashion shows. If everybody can head to the middle of the map, reminder one last time, our squid parties, our fashion shows are non-violent. So we've been battling it out all stream long. Now's not the time. So everybody just head to the middle of the map, line up on the platforms there, I'll check out all your outfits, give some colored commentary, appreciate your fashion, and then from there we will... Just giggle, wiggle, dance, spin, jump. Remember, though, no splatting. We got Agent 8 here. Look like they're ready to go skiing. Very nice, very nice, very cozy with the hat. Ski goggles. That purple jacket, I like that. I'm not sure who this is here. But also, ooh, nice cozy sweater. 
some some leggings with some shorts for extra warmth some boots very nice very nice we got splat fan here also going skiing a little bit of a different vibe though got some yellow and orange action going on got a nice cozy purple hat very warm then i'm not sure who this is but look at this white hair it's absolute fire <laughs> That other little cozy hat goes super good with that. I like that one. It looks like, like a little elf sticking up. Look at these. Look at these boots. Ready for the snow. A winter wonderland. Another cozy sweater. You're matching your friend next to you, too. <laughs> Who has a similar cozy sweater. Grandma, th your grandma and their grandma got you both the same sweater for Christmas. Did I get everybody? I think I did. If I didn't, come find me. I'm in the green hat. It's the voice to end all voices. Remember, no splatting. Tassiana! Oh my gosh, you always show up right at the end when we're doing fashion. <laughs> Hello, friend! Tassiana, you have to look at the thumbnail. Or you probably already looked it because you follow the Splatoon Twitter as well. The hair today, the hairs. The colors of the hairs, the styles of the hairs, all of the hairs. <laughs> Somebody killed everyone, oh no. Let me know who they is. <laughs> I didn't see him. Talking and reading. You saw it? Oh no. Oh wait, oh, you saw the, the, the hair. <laughs> not the splatting. Not the people disregarding rules. <laughs> They're still hiding some new ones, though, uh, they, I'm sure. They, they gotta, like, drip, drip. Speaking of drip, they are drip, drip, dripping out news and details about Splatoon 3 to us. <laughs> like, it's an IV keeping us alive. But here's the... Here, oh, oh the, I closed the window. Okay. You know what, though? Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Let me peek real quick, see if anybody that I follow is live. If not, I might just have to skip the raid today because... Oh, you know what? I don't usually do it. I try to support smaller streamers, but I think we're just going to go with a Vic raid. Vic's over there playing some Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Now I got the goal. So let me give you all a link in chat. Oh gosh, where's my raid thing? <laughs> okay got it got it okay link there in chat use the hashtag happy little raid and we will see you all real soon take care go head over to Vic give them some love tell them happy sent you have a good one, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.